A group in Hutto is trying to save the dwindling monarch butterfly population one certified way station at a time. KB's Jenny Lee reports. On the corner of Main and Metcalf streets sits the Peterson Community Garden, where a recent expansion hopes to help save the embattled butterflies. Thanks to the group, Keep Hutto Beautiful. The monarchs are, as a species, are dying out. This is one of seven certified way stations in Hutto. It is the largest and it's open to the public. Certification must meet guidelines. The most important, having milkweed. It is the only host plant for the, the monarchs. That means that that is the only type of plant in which a monarch can uh, lay their eggs, but their numbers are certainly declining. Conservation groups say the monarchs are on the decline. Climate change and loss of habitat are to blame. Twice a year, the monarchs pass through central Texas as they migrate from Canada to Mexico in the spring and in the fall. They're drinking the nectar and that's what's feeding them. So all of these all of these blooming plants here are nectar producing plants for bees and butterflies, hummingbirds. Debbie Holland loves plants. I am very passionate about plants, yes. She shows us one of the six milkweed plants here at the Peterson Garden. This one is called the world milkweed. And so you see how the flower is kind of flat? Yes. That way the 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 butterfly can just land on top of it. Oh, perfect. So the town known for its obsession with one creature is also trying to now conserve another. In Hutto, Ginny Lee, KVU News.